Hello everybody, this is Kashano, Easy Math. So this video is about solving exponential equation. 16 raised to the negative 3x plus 2 equals 64 raised to 3 minus x divided by 4 raised to 2 minus x. And before we start solving this problem, I would like to say thank you if you can subscribe to my channel so you can help me make more videos in the future. And now let's start solving this problem now. So we have here the left side, the base is 16. The right side, the bases are different also, 64. And the bottom is the base is 4. Normally, when solving equations like this, exponential equations normally use the uh, logarithm. It would be easier to, to use the natural logarithm or the common logarithm. But since if you can get the bases all the same, there, there would be no use uh, to solve and use the, uh, the logarithm, uh, the laws of logarithm, the natural logarithm or the common logarithm. If you change all the base to, you have common base, all of them, you can solve it uh, way differently. Okay, so in solving this equation, we're not going to use the uh, logarithm the laws of logarithm. Why is that so? All right, so let's do it. So first we have the, since these are, the bases are, are all even, even numbers. So 16, 64, and four, we have to find a common base. So how are we going to do that? Okay, so let's start with uh, this, the term on the left. We have here 16. If we factor that out, that's 16. What are the factor of 16? That's, uh, that's 4 times 4 is 16. So that's 4 times 4 is 16. And here, 64. What is the factor of 64? Is uh, if you multiply it by 4, for uh, how many times you get a... Uh, uh, exponent x to to make it at 64 so that is 4 times 4 16 times 4 64 so that becomes x is 3 right so you raise that 64 raised to the third power that will be 64 so they will have common base all of these all of these terms right here so we don't need to use the logarithm since the bases are all the same all right, so let's do it. Let's proceed. So how are we going to reduce all of these terms into common base? So let's start on the left side of the equation. So 16 can be written as 4 squared. So that is 4 squared. And the uh, exponent is negative 3x plus 2. So that means they're multiplying that base, that exponent right there now. And we can interchange this one. You can arrange it too. Put the negative one on the right side. It will be the same way. So that is 2 minus 3x equals. And once again, we get the 64. That is base 4 raised to the third power. That becomes 64. So that is 4 raised to the third power. And then you're multiplying this now with the with the power exponent right there, three, three minus x. And the bottom remains that way, so four raised to two minus x. Okay, so okay, so so from here we can get this denominator since this is uh, the denominator have the same base. If you can put it on the numerator, the uh, exponent will be the inverse of that so that this is equal to say 4 raised to 2 minus x the inverse of that 1 over 4 is you have changed the inverse of the change the sign of the exponent to minus x it will become negative if you put it on the on the bottom from the numerator become the denominator the other or the other way around vice versa so that means if you put this on the numerator, 
you will have an exponent of negative of the inverse of this, the negative of this. So that will be the same as, so we copy that. So that's four cube raised to the three minus x. Okay, times four raised to two minus x, but that's negative, that's, that's negative now. Okay, so, so from here, we're going to just multiply those exponents now. So, that's 4 times, 2 times 2 is 4. Minus 2 times 3 is 6. 6x. Calls. This one right here. So, 4. 3 times 3 is 9. Minus 3 times x is 9x. No, it's 3x. And multiplied by 4 and this is the inverse of that exponent now so that's negative 2 negative times negative is positive plus positive x okay so from here the base all the base are all the same so what we have here now is uh, okay so that's 4 raised to the 4 minus 6x equals since these two terms are being multiplied, multiplication the, uh, the same base, what we have to do is just add the exponent. This exponent to be added. So that comes up to just 4 exponent 9 minus 3 x. So you add this one right here. So plus minus 2 plus x. Okay, yeah, so that way. So then we just add the exponent, all of this exponent right here. So that is 9 minus 3x minus 2 plus x. So this will come up to 4 raised to combine like terms. So that is, and you start with the, with the constant. So 9 minus 2 is 7. And minus 3x plus x, so minus 2x. Okay. So come down here. That's 4 raised to the 4 minus 6x equals 4 times 7 minus 2x. And so we have here now the base are the same. So this cancels, this cancels. And now this one is equal to this. Okay, so that is 4 minus 6x equals 7 minus 2x. Okay, so we combine like terms. Okay, so 4 transposing 7 to the left side become negative 7. Transposing this 6x to the other side will become positive 6x. And 6x minus 2x. So that is now, that's 4x, 6 minus 2 is 4x, and 4 minus 7 is negative 3. So we have x is equal to negative 3 fourths. So that's the value of x. So since we have the value of x already in negative 3, 3 quarters, to verify our answer is to supply this value to the original equations and just to make sure we got the right answer. If not, we made a mistake in our computations. All right, so let's go back there and write the original equation. Okay, so we have here the original equation now. 16 raised to 3x plus 2 equals 64 raised to 3 minus x over 4 raised to 2 minus x. All right, so we substitute the value of x. Okay, so let's come up here. So that is 16 raised to minus 3 times x is negative 3 quarters plus 2 equals 64 raised to 3 minus negative 3 fourths divided by 4 raised to 2 minus negative 3 quarters 
So in here, we, s we simplify this one right here. That is 3 times 3 is 9. 9 over 4. Negative times negative, that becomes positive. And then plus 2. So simplify that. That is multiplied by 4 divided by 4. So we got uh, the same denominator. Okay, so, so 9 plus 2 times 4 is 8 over 4. That is equal to 9 plus 8 is 17 over 4. Okay, so, so we have 16 raised to 17 over 4. And equals, simplify this one right here now too. Okay, so that is 3 minus negative 3 quarter. That will become 3 minus minus, that's plus, plus 3, 4. Equals 4 times 3, 12. Plus 3 divided by 4. That becomes 15 over 4. So this becomes, this becomes 64 raised to 15 over 4. Divided by... And we have to simplify the exponent right there. So that is 2 minus negative 3 quarters. So that is 2 minus minus is plus, plus 3 quarters. That becomes 4 times 2, 8, plus 3, divided by 4, equals 11 over 4. So that is 4 raised to... 11 over 4 and if we simplify the exponents further so that will become 16 raised to 17 over 4 is 425 it's 4.25 equals 64 15 fourth is 3.75 by by 4 raised to 11, 4, 11 quarter, 2.75. If we get the value of 16 raised to 4.25, that will be 131,072. 64 raised to 3.75 power okay, is equal to, that's 5,931,641. Point six zero one. Yeah, divided by four raised to two point seventy five. That is forty five point two five four eight three four. Decimal place. Uh, we can remove this one right here now. The last three. So, or if we keep it that way because that one those are all the digits came up with the calculator so that's non-repeating so terminating decimal places so that's up to here and now all we have to find out if this really is 131,072 is indeed equal to the same over here so let's find out so it is indeed 131,072 so the same way 131.0772 so it's exact so our final answer is x is equal to so negative three fourths that's the answer so that's the one that we found out earlier okay so that's all for today i hope you like this video and you learned something from here and uh, I'd like to say thank you if you can subscribe to my channel so you can help me make more videos in the future. All right. I'll see you in the next videos. I appreciate it. Thank you for your time. Have a great day. Bye.